dig this. Uh, I'm hoping I can get access to oil. Oh shit, no, I've got no access to oil because my um my fucking oil pump melted, didn't it? In the last stream. Uh, let's, let's get another oil pump down here. What the fuck? Um, no, I'll be fine. What a fool I've been. I wonder why I wasn't getting any oil. Stuck here. It's on the soft stuff, so they can get the way out of it pretty easily. I should be able to. One bad thing. Get out. I found a bill in my pocket the other day. Sometimes I leave them in my pockets on purpose so I can forget about them and feel great when I find them again. Oh, there. <laughs> I do that for my wife. Simple pleasures, I guess. <laughs> uh, you know how to keep a woman happy. Leave the odd pound coin in your pants. That'll do it. I thought we just swooped a lot. Get that all the time. None of that will ever happen. It's not a priority for me. I prefer to have a stable life first. Stable and happy. Hmm. Uh, what's been mastered? Is it more digging? I think it might be. Uh, right, we'll get you done. That needs to be done. We'll dig out some more at you. Uh, and then we'll drop down to like here. Something like that. I can start digging out you as well. One thing that bugs me in this game is why water plus polluted water is a lot of polluted water. Um, yeah, I've, I've been meaning to do some tinkering with that in the debug. Saturnus showed me a way of making polluted water um, using pure water. And I, I've never really used it before, and it's, it's a little bit naughty. But it does save putting it through a machine. It's not something I've really used in any of my builds. But you can literally just make it by pumping it into a submersed vent. Because uh, arguably, for a lot of things, polluted water is more valuable than pure water. Right, have we got any oil up here yet? That way. Got one bottle. I'll get two bottles in here and then we'll seal this up. Uh, and then I also need to get power up here, which is going to be a big old bitch of a wire. Uh, let's see, I did split these up, didn't I? So this one here is now just doing one, two, three pumps. Yeah, that should be fine. We'll do that. Uh... Big old wire. Mesh tiles. Okay, I'm going to want to get in here and get all this wolf right at some point as well, but I think um, we'll let them just crack on getting this going first. Uh, right, we've got our oil in there now, which is fine. We'll deconstruct you, then we'll sweep that, seal it up, and then we can start pumping our liquid in, I think. Get that swept immediately. of work, like 80 hours a week of work. <laughs> Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. This is the same for me. It's the most important. Yeah, should be the most important for everybody, really, though. 
100 player arrives in a, in a full werewolf costume. You patiently explain that's not how the year of the dog works. His face drops. 100 player, good evening, buddy. A solid entrance as ever, mate. How are you? <laughs> Fail, nerds. Fail. Uh, right. So, let's get you sealed up. Uh, we can get... Can get over here, so let's get you sealed up. And then we can deconstruct this from this side. I might just do that. And throw a tile here. Just so we don't get any hot water flooding out. And then that should be all good to go. I've got a bit of oil in here, 400 kilos. Uh, you don't really need to be doing anything right now, so let's make sure you do nothing. Just for now. You won't do anything yet either. Uh, active for both. 500 kilos. Fine. Let's sweep you with a 7. I might leave these, see if they can overpressurize a couple of these tiles. Because they're sort of drawing in from the bottom and actively uh, making some bigger tiles of hydrogen here. So I'll leave them doing that. Should really just change this for a thermal switch now, because this is dumb doing it with an atmo switch, I think. Yeah. Change it to a thermal switch. So our water can now come down here. Some might still come out of steam, but hopefully we should be alright. Liam, no! Liam, why? Uh, do that. Get out of there. Crazy bastard. Uh, should I break open some of this to get some more gas up here as well? to rescue this puffed as well. Um, let's see. Is he going to die in here? Is he just... Oh shit, yeah, he's getting pretty cold. Minus nine now. should now be connected as well, all being well. Nice. Cool. So that's you done. That's you done. Uh, once these last couple of bits are swept, we'll close this. We're going to have a few different gases and stuff in here, unfortunately, but not much I can do about that. I could put a pump in here and vacuum it. Meh. Meh. Uh, so, I want you to be active if uh, below... goes above 80. No, that's not what I want to do. Do I need a knock gate on this? Oh shit, what's going on? Do I need a knock gate on this to invert it? My chimp brain is struggling. So I want this to active uh, activate if this room goes above 90 odd, so I think I do for 80 odd. Let's throw a quick knock gate in here. Should be fine. 
and show you a bit. I did, yeah, I am. I, I showed this as a uh, an example build on the. Uh, I built this in debug. I've done this a couple of times in fairness, but I just I like the, the fact that this fits just nicely under the build. It's like a nice little compact room. I, I don't know. I quite like it. But yeah, I did do a video on YouTube showing this. It was more just showing how liquid vents can be overpressurized, basically. But yeah. Sorry, I've not been reading the chat for a while. Uh, do, do, do. Need that kind of entrance. 100 is, is the best. There's no competing with it. It just comes in. There's always a little story. There's often a backstory. There's some character depth. You know, he builds a scene, he sets the mood, and then boom, he's in. I love it. Uh, okay. Sweep this. Oh, but I know why they're not sweeping it. I know why they're not sweeping it, because this is full. Let us turf out all of you. Boop, 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 boop. Igneous. Um. Thanks for the switch. Honey kind of destroyed my life. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. Uh. I know that feeling. Now what am I saying? I love this game. Sweep this! Son of a bitch! Priority 9. Really important. Oh, I suppose because the compactor's 9. All this is 9. Well, let's cancel this stuff. Uh, stop. Stop. Go get other stuff. Oh, shit. Stop. Hey, fuck my life. You penises! Go get that little piece of rock. Come on. Oh, have we got it? No! What the fuck? Oh, Turner, are you the, are you the dude? Are you going to sort me out? Oh, you magnificent bastard, Turner. Beautiful. Right, let's get these built. And a boop. How are we doing for hydrogen? Got two and a half kilos, two kilos. Yeah, fuck it. Let's seal this up as well. Uh, it doesn't work like that, Nailu. It doesn't work like that, buddy. Right, if you know building sweeper arms will automatically pick up that stuff of that storage. Yes. Yes, I do. But it's only a, it's a short-term problem. It doesn't make sense to put in a long-term solution for that. Because it's only stuff that I've got there that I've manually dumped out of the compactors. Once it's all gone, it's, it's gone. There shouldn't be any more brought into that. Okay, so this should now cool down. And then when this needs to be cooled, so if this room goes above 80, this door will short, transfer some heat and hopefully cool the room down a little bit. Chances are this will eventually overcook. I should have made a couple of tiles, like, able to radiate some heat out as well, but meh. For now, it does mean that we can get some liquid once this builds up a little bit, which will be fine. Um, that'll be nice. So we're just going to be able to stockpile our hot water now, that's the main thing. So we'll leave that for now. Then when we do need to get liquid cooling going, we will have some liquid nearby. We're still amassing natural gas at the minute, which is good. Uh, so probably the next thing I want to do today, I do want to get some plastic refining, um, which means we need access to oil. So I'm probably going to focus on getting all this dug out getting down to this sort of level. I'll build some sort of plastic refining cell here. Um, and that is the plan. And then our carbon dioxide can all flow down here. And What is this? What, what is this? What is this weird black tile? What is happening here? Is this unexplored? Is this where a ruin was or something? What are you? I can't even build in it. What are you? Uh, let's also get this this uh, other chamber sorted. Uh, Ren, can you like come here? Ah, oh, there we go. That's weird. It must have been from when we destroyed the ruins early in the game. Uh, no, it doesn't, Nalu. It doesn't. Do some tinkering, you'll see what I mean. 
Below and above are not the same as inverting signal. For what I wanted to do. Here with the ladder. Start clearing out all this gubbins as well. Uh, I really don't want my this water falling down there. It's it's not Nalu. Uh, right, if I if I have if I just change it from below to above, I want the mechanized airlock to be in the opposite state, right? So I want my airlock to be open unless this is above 80 degrees um, um, wait i want this airlock to be in an open state so it's it's this bit that i'm inverting it's nothing to do with the switch right i couldn't have done this same result just by changing it to below and above because the problem is once it goes i want this room to prime in temperature and get nice and nice and nice and cold and be cooling down this airlock and getting the room cold so that when this toggles on i want it to toggle on shut this door convey the heat and then hopefully if it goes below this temperature again sh uh, open the door again so that this can keep cooling so it's it's not the same as just doing below and above it's just not try it in debug if you don't believe me it's it's the it's the doors function that i want to be opposite not the switch So, we'll get rid of all this crap. Get rid of this crap. Yeah, I want to. I want to. I want to get all this cleared out. I think this is my technically my big carbon dioxide funnel down here. It's not the same thing. It's, it's not the same thing. Go and try it. Unless I'm having a moronic moment, which is by all means possible, I disagree with you. His IQ is single digits. You need to use short words. Well, yeah, that, that does help me. I won't lie. I need to get rid of this, ideally without letting a load of water down here. I don't want there to be loads of loads of water. We've got a little bit of um, a little bit of water down here. God, it's hot down here. Fuck. <clears throat> this is some cold crude oil that I was sort of hoping to keep. Just it's free cooling cold oil. But on the same token, I probably want to get all this dug out. Eventually. talked in the last stream about how I need to make eight fertilizer synths to potentially um, support this if it's going full whack. Now I'm going to want some fertilizer regardless. Normally I just trash my fertilizer or feed it to um, feed it to hatches or something like that. In this case I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep the fertilizer. Um, I did start tinkering or laying out a few builds uh, but I, I wasn't happy with the space in here. So I don't know if I want to build them somewhere else or change up my idea of how to do it maybe build it to the side over here or something instead maybe do that there's a lot of digging involved but we could maybe do that or over here where we've already done a lot of the digging that could probably that would probably make sense um what i'm basically going to want is eight fertilizer synthesizers i don't need that many because at the moment i don't need that many because my my gas usage is less than what the the guys are using so that's why we keep getting a, a build up in here but eventually when i do start using these flat out which probably will happen when i start doing plastic and refining and stuff um and add more aqua tuna builds as well um we're, we're going to want to be able to make up that deficit so one natural gas generator one natural gas geyser sorry supports 2.6 recurring 
uh, generators. One geyser supports 2.6 generators. To make up the deficit, we need one extra fertilizer synth. Normally, I make an extra two just to be sure. Just because the way tile uh, gas packets move within a room, I like to have a bit of a buffer. Um, and then for these other two down here, we basically need six. So I would be I would be tempted to build ten fertilizer synths. Personally, um, although eight does fit on a circuit nicely, ten probably would as well nowadays actually. Mm. So I'm thinking maybe we'll do it over here. Let me try and let me try and do something. So let's imagine. We'll keep it on the same level as this floor here. Let's say there's our wall. Is this ladder actually a ladder that I'm going to be using? I don't think it is. I think I want to remove this ladder ultimately, don't I? Because at the moment I've got ugh, fucking base isn't square and it drives me crazy. This water lock's trolling me. Yeah, let's mop all this up. Let's mop this up and destroy this lock. Um, because I want to, I want to scroll up the ladders and stuff before I start planning other big buildy bits to the base. Do that. The program is done entirely using wands and curly beards. I said it was 10 thirds, 10 that gas gens. Hmm. Uh, can, can I see the logic set of the members concerned? Yeah, what it basically is. What I what I just did, I've got a switch here, right? That I want to shut this door when this room goes above 80 degrees. Okay? And rather than do it. What Nailu's basically saying is me having this switch set to above 80 degrees is inverted in this to give the same result if I set this to below 80 degrees right so currently if I set this to uh, I, I put a not gate in the system right and the reason I put a not gate in there is because I want to be able to control the higher end of the temperature right not the lower end there's no point me controlling the lower end of the temperature I want to basically be able to say if this goes above 80 degrees shut this door let the temperature flow through and then open this door again, right? Nailu is saying I could do that exact same thing by toggling below, right? Which I'm trying to point out that I couldn't. Yeah, you're only you've only seen half the problem, Nailu, which is why I'm telling you to go and test it yourself rather than arguing with me. Go and test it in debug and try and do what I'm trying to do. Run it for 50 cycles and then tell me if you have a problem. All right? Because I want to be able to control the upper end of the temperature scale. I'm leaving this as it is. I don't want to look at this anymore. Go and try it. I promise. I've I've, I've done this. Oh, piss dicks. Fanny flaps. This is what happens when I start looking at shit I don't want to look at. Everybody gets stuck in a wall of doom. Right. I didn't want any of this to be built yet. I was trying to, trying to plan shit out. Fuck! Stop derailing me with bullshit. Let me get rid of all this crap. Fuck. Because this this ladder, I'm, I'm building to a ladder that isn't going to be here ultimately. Basically. Uh, oh shit, I've just trapped him again. Fuck my life. Right. Uh, okay, we're, we're trying to destroy this, aren't we? Let me get rid of you. I have a degree in Twitch! Ah, oh, shit. What's this? I have a degree in optimization. I have a degree in not giving a shit. Go and try it. I don't give a shit, Nailu. As we re the real plan has been accomplished to distract life so he doesn't realise he's killing his troops. Fuck you. Right. I need to finish this fucking ladder. Right. On this side of the base, we've got our ladder one tile away from the wall. That's because of these. We should be able to do the same thing here. I don't know why this is a bit derpy, but whatever. Um, 
I want to square the base up. I like the base being squared up. So, ladder, one tile away from the wall. Uh, piss sticks! Forgot about this little nubbin we've got here. Uh, fuck ass. Right, so it's going to be this ladder here. So, we'll extend this all the way up here. 